Boris, get up. So, do you want to explain to me what happened? So apparently. Boris, his unsportsman like at this golden chick restaurant was great. He was nice to all the customers and such. But one of the customers told me what he did at one of his previous jobs. And that customer went up to me. Told me what he did. And that's when I fired him. And I chased him on the way back here to his house. And beat him up. Right, look, Destiny, not to be rude or anything, but I think not just you. But everyone else should stop beating up Boris for any future episodes going forward with this. Because last year, MJ had to start implementing budget cuts on us for the amount of times that we're beating him up. Even I was at fault for this for that Amazon incident that time. You do have a point. Boris. Just go off to work, I'm too lazy to take you back to jail. I know you're not entirely at fault for this, but from this point forward, I don't want anyone beating up Boris at any more of his jobs. It's just going to ruin the plot line and I don't him getting injured. And MJ doesn't any more people beating him up going further with this. I guess you have a point there. I guess I'm starting to regret beating him up. Although I am still mad at him though. I guess I will have to apologize to him for beating him up. Well don't be, I'm still mad at him for what he did to me. You don't have to regret beating him up. Because he still deserved it for what he did to me. But don't tell him I said this though. I won't. But I won't be beating him again after this episode. Be sure you tell everyone else not to beat him too. It's going to mess up the storyline, MJ told me. This is only until we get things sorted out. I will. But I'm still mad at him. I know. You do know that I can still hear you, right? Look, I have to go. I have to get ready for Elias's birthday party tomorrow. And I'm literally wasting a lot of time right now. Just call me if you need anything. But don't forget what I said. Do you want me to drive you to work? I guess. I know where I'm working at next anyways. Greetings, and welcome to Carabas Italian Grill. Order away my good sir. I was sent an invitation from my friends to me at them here for a special dinner tonight. Go ahead. They're in the back waiting for you. Thanks. Greetings, and welcome to Carabas Italian Grill. Order away madam. First off. I don't feel comfortable with you saying that. Second. As I was trying to say. I received an invitation from Adrian and I'm here to meet up with Adrian and his friends. They're right there in the back. Hmm. Hey Irene. Is there anything wrong that I should know about? Remember that drink that you gave me with my food when you first served me when you started working here today? Um yes. And what happened to your voice? Isn't supposed to be Allison. About that, your chef, who prepared your food, laced by drink with a voice potion, which changed my voice from Allison back to Sally. And I changed my voice from Sally to Allison last year for a reason. This may be a weird question to ask you. Can you get me another drink? Put poor lace of Allison voice potion in there. Of course. And we will fire the chef that did this to your drink. Thanks. And I don't want to go to the back to beat him up for this because I don't want to risk jail time. Alright. I'll go get your drink. And I will make sure I pour an entire Allison voice potion in your drink for you. Wait right here. Here you go. Thanks. Testing. Testing. No way. My voice is back. I guess a few people were right about you after all. I appreciate you for getting my voice back. No problem. You know, 
I'm getting a little tired and exhausted from earlier today. So I'm just gonna quit this job. Take the rest of the day off. And I'll just also take tomorrow off. Other jobs may hire me anyways. Before you came round, my heart would never be much if I started. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down. Before you came.